Initially when I came to Cal Poly, I wasn't in construction management, but I found that it had interest, it, it fit my interests more. And my mom is a Swedish citizen and she told me, you have to go to grad school, you have to go to grad school. And I didn't see the need at the moment. But then eventually it kind of grew on me and I looked into the process and being a Swedish citizen, I had free education abroad. And so then I researched a bunch and looked at the different programs and spent countless nights up till midnight so I could fit the time change with the calling and figure out admissions and it was a long six month process. But I eventually found a school that had the program that I really wanted to pursue and right now I'm going to be going to KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm for environmental engineering and sustainable infrastructure. Looking for grad school in Sweden was kind of difficult because I was in the States but my mom does have relatives abroad and they teach at various universities so they were kind of my eyes and ears telling me where I should apply like what were the best schools you know similar to having like a an uncle who went to Harvard that kind of thing and so I'm not saying that this school is Harvard but my uncle teaches at one of the universities and put his ear to the ground to see what kind of programs that would be similar to what I was teaching or learning here at Cal Poly and he kind of pushed me to this direction at this specific school because he knew that this was a really like prestigious program and then different programs at different schools also and so that's kind of how I, I stumbled upon it. So I decided that environmental engineering and sustainability are things that are always going to be prevalent in the future. We're in a, a world that's getting hotter like global warming is real and so it's I've always been really passionate about that and it's cool to finally like learn about it because you only get like a little hint in like some of your classes so I really wanted to dive in and actually see engineering and project management behind projects like that. My advice to a new student would be it's okay to not know what you want to do because I switched into construction management and still wasn't really sure which path I was going to take and with each internship that I had and each meeting I had with teachers and each function I went to that had industry members, I really got to find out more about what our industry is about. And it really opened my eyes to what I could do within our industry and like, you know, profession. And so you should just oh, never, never be worried about like, oh, I don't know what I want to do. It's because it's okay. Cause I mean, I've been here for five years and I figured it out and now I'm getting out of here and I'm in one piece. So it's, it's okay.